Hello, my name is John Hill. I am a YouTuber slash professional skateboarder, and I make videos five days a week using Adobe Premiere. As you can imagine, consistency is very important to me, knocking out videos as fast as possible with quality involved. And thankfully, Adobe Premiere gives you everything you need. It's an amazing tool with an endless range of options for editing. Today, I'm gonna show you the bare essentials required to film a video, edit the video through Premiere, and then upload it to YouTube. Just to keep it as simple DIY as possible, we're gonna film all the skate clips on this iPhone right here. 20 minutes later. Now, to get the footage onto your computer, you just need to go to image, capture and from there you can select your iPhone which mine is Jonathan's iPhone and of course you can select the ones that you want by clicking the first one holding down shift and selecting the last one now you have the whole thing selected and you just need to import it where you would like it for me I happen to have a folder in my desktop called skate park litness yes choose that and then click import now, if you're new to Adobe Premiere, this is gonna be very exciting and very, very shocking at how simple this is. Now just click Adobe Premiere. Right here, you see some of the most recent projects that I've worked on, but for the sake of the new people, I'm gonna go to new project. Name it whatever you want. Chimmy, Chimmy, Changa. Now the workspaces may vary, but I click editing at the top right here, and this is how it's displayed for me. This might seem very intimidating, but just follow the simple steps that I take, and once you tinker with this for a little bit, everything's gonna seem extremely simple. This section right here is where you drag the files to be edited. So for me, I just right click right here, and I click new bin, and I'm gonna name it skate park edit. From here, literally, all you have to do is right click this, click import, Go to the files that you have saved onto your computer and import them. And here are the images right here. Now all the clips that you need are in this file right here. You can double click them to preview them and right above it you will see that the clip itself is previewed. And you can drag this forward and backwards to control how you view it or just hit spacebar and watch the clip unfold. To actually begin editing, all you have to do is go to File, New, Sequence. Dill Pickle sounds like a good name. This section right here is where you will be doing all of the cutting of the clips, putting them together, adding the music, pretty much everything. Also, if you have a song that you wanna put this to, you can right click the folder here, click import the same way that you drag the files into this folder and select a song on your computer. Now to create a very simple skateboarding edit. Right here on the right, you see the V1 and the A1. This stands for video and audio. So before selecting the file and dragging it into the timeline to view, try dragging the cursor where you want the clip to begin to start. Because as you can see, there's a lot of excess at the beginning with nothing happening. I'm not interested in that content. So right before I do the trick, I'm gonna drag the cursor right here and click I. It stands for in and it puts a marker down. So when you drag this clip somewhere right here, it's gonna start from where you put the end point. And then I'm gonna drag it after I land the trick, about right there, which looks good to me. I'm gonna click O, which stands for out. Now if you click anywhere in this screen right here and hold down the cursor, you can drag it into the timeline right here. And then this is the amazing thing about Adobe is that if you have files that are all different types and shapes and sizes and you click change sequence settings, it will adapt to any type of file that you film with. Boom, and now you can see on the top right, this displays what is going on in the timeline below. If you hit the plus button on the keyboard, it will zoom in to the actual timeline, which for me, it's a little easier to work when the file is a little bit bigger. Now continue the process with the rest of the clips. Now I have all the clips on the timeline. You can see the audio right here and above it you see the video. And now you can drag the song into it. So if I click the song, it works the same way as the video files. If you hit the end point anywhere and the out point, it will drag just that part of the song that you have selected contained within the in and out points. So I hit I at the very beginning of the song, hit the space bar, let it play a little bit. Now if you look under this file, you see drag video only and drag audio only. If you click this and hold down the cursor and drag it to the timeline, it will take only the audio or video. So for this, since it is just audio, you can hold drag audio only, pull it all the way down here, and right here, it sits perfectly. Since I want the audio to be just as long as the video clips itself, if you hover the cursor above the end, you see it turned into this red bar with an arrow, pull down the cursor, and you can drag it as long as you need to. And what this does is add the rest of the song to the clip. If you wanna make sure that you're watching it from the beginning, you can click this button right here that says, go to in. It's the end point of the timeline itself. So click that, hit the space bar to play, and watch it unfold. A few very simple hacks. If you wanna edit it to the music and have the audio of the clips match the song itself, you can move around the clips by just holding down the clip itself 
and moving it right and left to drag it anywhere you'd like. That goes with audio as well. A good example is for the audio on this clip right here, I would love to land on the ground as soon as the song kicks in. Because as you can see, the song delays just a little bit after I land the trick. So for me, what I would do is hold down the cursor and you can drag a box over whatever clips you want to move around or edit. And I'm dragging it over these right here, holding down the cursor and dragging everything to the right. And now, since the audio of the landing is a little before the drop actually happens in the song, I know to drag this clip right here to the right a little bit. Perfect. Now you can select all the clips, drag it back, and to make sure that the song is just as long as the rest of the clips, of course, you go to the end of the audio itself, drag it to the right. over there's a million million things you can do with this and of course if you want to check out the YouTube channel Adobe Creative Cloud there are tutorials on everything but today is all about simplicity and getting out footage as fast as possible so from here if you want to turn this into a file that you can move around that you can upload to YouTube you just go to file export media adobe does an amazing job of having clips set up the best possible way for viewing which means this area on the right is very intimidating but you don't have to worry about that because luckily adobe puts that in for you you want to make sure the format is h.264 and if you go to the presets you can scroll all the way down to YouTube set presets. Luckily there's a YouTube 1080p HD and that actually makes the clip best for YouTube viewing. Make sure you find the location that you want the clip to go. So for me, if you go to output name, you can select desktop, name it whatever you want and click save. Now, if you click export right here, bada bing, bada boom, the clip is actually being saved to your computer right now. Now, uploading to YouTube is this simple. You go to this button on the top right. This is if you have an account with them, so make sure to sign up if you haven't already. You click this button that says upload. You select the files to upload, and for me, it's on the desktop. Tacos are fun, open up, and that is actually it. You can add whatever you want to the description. You can add whatever tags you would like, but for the simplicity of this video, got the title there, Tacos Are Fun, amazing title. Click Save Changes, and by the time it's done processing, this will be on YouTube ready for viewing for everyone. The same way that I just edited the video that you just watched with the iPhone footage applies to the same footage that this camera right here will film. So the process will be exactly the same. It's amazing. I also use Adobe and Illustrator for creating videos, thumbnails, etc., and there are very basic tutorials to help you optimize those applications as well. So be sure to subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud. Check out the rest of the videos if you want more details details and anything is possible on these outlets. Anything that you see in videos, in content, in photos is accessible for anyone out there who's just willing to put in the time to learn. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps and stay tuned for more videos from Adobe Creative Cloud. Take care.